Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by the Money Stocks. Today is July 25th, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. Right now, we have the S&P futures trading higher by one point to 20 uh, to 30.22 and a half per contract. So you see that the futures have rolled over just a little bit here. But again, that doesn't mean a much in this light volume environment that we have been seeing. So again, we'll see how this market plays out once the opening bell rings. But right now, basically, you have a flat market ahead of the opening bell. All right, let's get over to stocks in the news. First off, we want to start off with the euro because the European Union was expected to do some kind of quantitative easing today. They did not, but they said they will do it down the road. So you're seeing the euro flip down, and now it's catching a pretty big bid back up. Again, it's very, very oversold in anticipation of QE. So if you look at a daily chart, you'll see that um, this went down to the 111 level, now trading up around 111.50. So a good little bounce back up as there's no QE uh, to be found, just a lot of job owning by Mario Draghi. That seems to be what he is good at. So again, he's pushing a can down the road. He is leaving office soon. Christine Lagarde will become the new ECB president. And she'll have to implement some kind of QE, as he says, that we desperately need it, but yet he did not implement it. All right, let's get into the markets here in the U.S. We're going to start off the day with Facebook. Facebook was the big earnings announcement. Looks like the stock right now trading at 207.30. This closed at 204.66. So it was really all over the map right now, settling in a little higher. I think this can probably go to 208.5, maybe 209. I don't know if we go much past there right now. You could see in the after hours, this did spike initially to 216, then went as low as 198, now settling in around 207. So I think we'll be settling in somewhere around that 208.5 to 210 level. I don't see us really blowing past that in Facebook. But nonetheless, stock is holding up, and we'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. Any uh, levels, we'll give them out in the intraday stock chat room. There's nothing I see right now. Next up, we have Xilinx. XLNX is the ticker symbol there. This is uh, trading down. This closed at 132.10, now trading at 126.50. When I look at this stock right now, I have to think um, that the stock is just down a little bit from its close. Um, it's, it's a quick mover. This stock can easily move 5 to 10 points in a day. So again, we'll see how it plays out. 118 looks to be some support if we get down there. And then it really after that, it's around 112 and then potentially around 106, 107. So uh, again, not we're not going to make too much out of Xilinx yet. Here's a stock, though, that is in play. This is Citrix Systems. CTXS is the ticker symbol here. This stock right now trading at $96.50, closed at $100.72. So a uh, good little haircut there for Citrix. If, if this gets down to around 89 today, I think that's a play on the long side for a day trade. So keep that on the radar. Right now, you're probably um, <clears throat> hitting some support down here. If you take a look at a daily chart, uh, you got a lot of support at 94 You'll look at the 10-minute chart. You'll see that's exactly where it got after hours. So that's the level to break. It breaks there, though. Look at 89 bucks. That's going to be a play. We have PayPal. That's going to be a gap play today in the intraday stock chat room. This stock right now trading at 117. Uh, this closed at 121.30. Now, last night after the closing bell, it went all the way down to around 113. So that's a pretty significant level already. Uh, anytime you after hour move gets down to around a whole round number and it holds you always want to watch that level for some support After that though, we're gonna have to look down around 110 110 will be another big level for support and then you'll see right here You got a gap window around 108.75 So that would be probably the two of the best levels I see for PayPal 110 108.75 but in the meantime, you'll have some support around 113 Let's go to Save, S-A-V-E, which is Spirit Airlines. Um, <clears throat> you're going to see this stock uh, is trading this morning. Well, it closed yesterday at, one, at $55 a share. Today, it's trading at $46.80. So, ouch, that's a haircut. We're going to watch the 45 level for this one for an intraday play. I'm going to put levels up in the intraday stock chat room for this as well. Next up, want to take a look at Tesla, T-S-L-A, Tesla. Uh, getting hit this morning. Stock closed at 264, spot 88, now trading at $235.82. Ouch, that is a haircut. The only level that I really like for Tesla is going to be down around 200 bucks. I'll have a couple of levels before that. 
I'll post them up in the intraday stock chat room. Let's take a look at Ford Motor. Ford Motor today trading at $9.73. There is support right where we are now, but the better level is probably going to be down around $9 today if it gets there. I don't know if that'll happen, but like I said, if you look at the daily chart here, um, right around this general area you have some support but nine dollars is a very very good level you got a big gap there that's going to be an excellent level should it get there i'm not sure it does we'll keep it on the radar today we'll see if it does fall again ford motor hitting a little bit of support right around this 970 area at the moment but again i do like the nine dollar level next up we want to take a look at las vegas sands lvs this stock actually sold off nicely after the close but it has rebounded back to 63.49 it closed at 64.93 so it's down a little bit but not much so we'll keep it on the radar today there's not a lot i'm going to do with las vegas sands in this area we'll have to see a bigger move take place then we could look at it closer let's take a look at service now ticker symbol now this is a high flyer this stock right now trading at 290.95 this went all the way down to 274 now rebounding back up so it takes away any of our uh, potential gap plays at the moment so we'll keep it on the radar we'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings stay neutral on this one for now let's go to southwest airlines suv uh, luv love stock is trading at 52.65 um, pretty good little haircut here i love the 49 dollars level today on southwest if it can get down there that's a no-brainer, in my opinion, for a scalp bounce. So keep that on the radar today. Next up, I want to take a look at 3M. MMM, this is catching a really good bid. Stock closed at 179.42, now trading at 187.79. So great pop there. Uh, when I look at this name, I have to think that around 197, if you got that high, that would be a fade candidate. Um, but until then, we'll look at it once the opening bell rings. But good pop here today on 3m next up let's take a look at h s y which is hershey uh this stock trading down today closed at 146.76 now trading at 142 got as low as 140 there is a lot of support at 140 with a gap after that you got to look at around 135 and then 133 so some more support levels there next up we've got comcast in play c m c s a this stock right now trading at 44.40 Closed at 44.87, so it had a good little sell here initially. Now back up toward the flat line. If this gets down to 42 bucks, it's a buying opportunity here intraday. So keep that on the radar. We'll do one more. Bristol Myers BMY stock right now trading at 42 dollars and 69 cents. No play here yet, but we'll keep it on the radar. If it got down to around 40 bucks, I do like it there. So. Keep Bristol Myers on the radar. We'll see how it plays out. Again, we're going to have gap plays posted in the intraday stock chat room right at 9 a.m. So get ready for those. Uh, right now, we have gold trading uh, basically up a dollar to $1,424 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD this morning, you'll see that's trading at 134.31. Remember, the GLD trades till 4 o'clock. Spot gold closes at 130 on the COMAX. So again, uh, GLD trading down a little bit. And then you have uh, crude oil today up 97 cents to $56.84 a barrel. So crude on the move today. What can you say? Uh, good little move there. If you take a look at the USO, that is trading at around 1179, closed at 1160. USO is good ETF to track the movement in crude oil. All right. If you haven't done so, come on over. Take that seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We have lots of moving parts out here today. Some nice gap plays posted up early. We should have some really good action out here with all the earnings that are taking place. Many stocks I didn't even get the chance to go through today with you here just because there's so many. All right. With that being said, have a great trading day and we'll see you a little bit later on the charts.